Okay, now I'm going to make a few points about the machine. Uh, when you get the machine, the tension is going to be set at 5. We calibrate the tension at 5 and set it there and everything's fine. You don't need to touch the tension. If you ever turn the tension, always make sure you go to 5 and that's your sewing tension right at 5. Uh, if you want to change a needle, um, all you do, you loosen the little set screw, little black set screw on the side, half a turn, drop the needle down, take it out. If you notice on the needle itself, there's a uh, scarf, a little scarf on one side, and on the other side there's a long one inch groove you can feel with your fingernail. That's on the exact other side. So when you put a needle in, you want that long one inch groove facing to the left. So you drop it in there, bring it all the way up, and before you tighten it, check yourself. Again, the scarf on the needle's got to be on the right side and the long one inch groove on the left side. And tighten that screw good and tight. And then again, double check the needles in right. The long one inch groove, you can feel it with your fingernail. Put your fingernail right in there on the left side and the scarf is on the right side. Make sure that it's directly in there right because if you put a needle in backwards, the machine won't sew on any sewing machine. Uh, oiling the machine, just turn it back. Very simple, every few months you can put a drop of oil in all the moving parts. As you turn the hand wheel, you can see these parts move. Uh, just on the ends here, in here, I'll just point to a few spots here, 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 there, over here, here, and here. Like that, any joint that, that moves. And that, that's pretty much it. That's all you got to do with oiling machine.